Ishaq, as you know, 48 young people were killed in this city in the Stardust Fire of 1981. It was one of the greatest tragedies to befall people here in the capital. And the original inquiry into the Stardust Fire claimed that it was caused by probable arson. And that finding has long been disputed by the families of the victims and by others who have looked closely at the evidence. And the families of a number of those who died in the Stardust have tasked various experts to review transcripts of the original inquiry into the case and they've come to an entirely different conclusion. Taoiseach, the families, as you know, are seeking a new commission of investigation into this terrible event. And the main basis for this is the report by senior counsel Paul Coffey, who was tasked by the previous government with reviewing the Stardust Affair and the FOI report, which was commissioned by the families. And the Minister for Justice, Alan Chatter, has thus far, and I, I hope that we can persuade him to change his mind, but thus far he's rejected calls for an inquiry into the Stardust tragedy. So, Taoiseach, would you meet the families of the Stardust victims to discuss their demands? Will you support them in their search for justice? And will you establish a new commission of investigation headed up by a judge and drawing upon whatever expertise is necessary to look at this tragedy? Taoiseach. Well, I've had some engagement with members of the Stardust uh, survivors uh, over the last number of years and uh, actually raised it on that side of the house myself on a number, quite a number of occasions. Now, on a, any uh, occasion in the, shall we say, in, in, in the recent past that I've had uh, contact with members of the Stardust group, um, I've been accused of, of, uh, of not telling the truth, of having uh, information or um, uh, evidence uh, that I should produce uh, that would uh, alter what has already been determined here. And I did say to them that if, um, if they have uh, a legal person now in place who has evidence uh, that, is, that is new or that is able to confirm what the Stardust people are saying, that that should be produced. And yet I have requests coming to me to produce photographs of, of um, of basements flooded and the fact that there were no fire in, 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 the, in the ceiling space. I don't have that information. Um, and uh, I say to you, Deputy Adams, that any time I respond here at all, um, I am I'm accused of, of, um, of uh, telling lies and, and, and so on. Now, I like to think that the Stardust people, uh, who are, uh, the survivors of those 48 young people who, who died and their siblings, of course, deserve to have the, the full facts and everything determined. But this has been examined pretty exhaustively on a number of occasions. And um, there were a number of other, um, other matters that were attended to. Uh, there is the question, I understand, of uh, outstanding legal fees of a pretty, uh, pretty serious nature here. Uh, so I know that they will have met Deputy Martin and, and yourself and others in the, in the uh, in the recent past, but you're asking me a question here to form another commission of inquiry, uh, and, and, and I'm being asked to find out or to determine that there is some other evidence uh, that is going to sort of confirm uh, a different version of what's already been determined. So all, all I said to them on the last occasion, Deputy Adams, was that if the legal person that they have employed now has evidence, has new evidence that is new, that is different and that confirms what they say, then that should be put into the um, into the um, into the um, in, into the proper authorities. And I would respectfully suggest that that's that's a way that's a way forward in this process if that's available. I don't know whether it is or not. Margaret, uh, Deputy Adams, supplementary okay, question. Chair, thank you, Teacher, for your answer, and and I accept your assertion that you don't have the information that you you mentioned. How, how could you have? Have that, but I mean, I, I have the two copy reports here, and it's important to note that the copy report was submitted to the government on the 10th of December, 2008, and it's clearly you know, a report with his findings and conclusions and recommendations. And I'm just working my way through this myself, and the families do have a solicitor doing the necessary forensic scrutiny of all of this. And there are changes in, in, in the reports, and particularly 
there is a change. Where the report which was sent on the 10th of December 2008, on page 70, section 513, Paul Coffey states, I further accept that a new inquiry is necessary if it is the only way of placing on the public record a finding that is based on fact. And yet the report which was then uh, produced, that was in December, the report that was then published in 2009, that's left out of it. And, you know, I, I appreciate that you may not have an explanation for this, for this o omission. And if you don't, that's far enough. But I would ask you, if you can't tell the Dáil today, today why this is the case, would you undertake to do so as soon as, as possible? Thank you, Deputy. And just how much of one can call you? Uh, you know, the, the families do have concerns, and I've listened to them, as you've just said, as you have your, yourself. But even in terms of the original recommendation of the Coffey Report, that a new inquiry is necessary, would you... You know, if I understand your answer, you're saying if the evidence is given to you that you, that you will open up a new commission of investigation, that, that you need the evidence to go to the proper authorities. So I'm just looking for a wee bit of uh, clarity on, on that. The fact that people are so anxious 40 years on is a, a sign of the trauma that they have all been through. So I draw that one particular point to your attention, and I would ask you to uh, be very, very open to the request that a new commission of investigation be Mark set up. Mark the Well, I, I, I know the, the point you're coming from, and I accept your, the, the genuine, genuineness of your question here. Uh, and any time I did meet with the uh, relatives of the status victims, obviously the, the pain is still palpable with them. I think we understand that. Now, I, I, I might suggest that you, you uh, if you advise the legal person that they have employed, uh, to send me his evidence uh, of what is different and what is new uh, and that warrants uh, further analysis. I, 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 I consider that. But I can't commit, uh, Deputy Adams, as you can understand, to a commission of, of, of inquiry here. This has been looked at exhaustively and extensively on a number of occasions. But as I said to them, uh, to, the, to the people who contacted me, if there is new evidence, and if, if that's available to their legal person, well then please, um, I'll invite them to um, make a submission to me on that basis and I'll consult with the Minister for, for Justice on the basis of that uh, uh, evidence, new or different, or how it might progress this.